Ring, 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 banana phone. Well, folks, it's time to reveal who's under the mask of the banana. That's right. That's why I sang that little Ralphie song for you guys. We're going to go through the clues and the pitch correct audio. And we're also going to go through our contest. We'll put that at the end of the video. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Now, if you're new to the YouTube channel, hi, how are you? My name is Joey Contino. I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City, where it's actually a very nice day outside. It's my job as an executive audio producer to go ahead and provide audio for my clients. And when that audio sounds bad or it sounds muffled, it's my job to clean it up. And that's where the mask singer comes in. Every single week, they give us these brand new clue packages. And in those packages are celebrities talking. And Fox is smart. They're like, hey, uh, we can't let the celebrities talk in a real voice because if they do, people are going to recognize them. And then the show would be way too easy. So what do they do? They speed up their voices and pitch it up so that you have no idea who it is. Well, doing what I do, I figured I could slow it down and pitch correct it so that we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now that plus the clues, we can determine who is under the mask. And so far, we've been 100% this season, and I'm really excited to reveal today the banana because I'm pretty sure we got this down 100%. Now, before we get started, I know you guys have a lot of great questions for me. Uh, sometimes the comment section gets clouded up. If you ever want to send me a message and get a response, I'll definitely respond to you if you follow me at Joey Contino on Instagram. I'll pop up somewhere under here. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the clues, starting with episode one. Now, if you're like me, I go ahead and I type up all my clues. I go through the entire show. I watch the videos 45 million times just so that I can make sure I have every single clue down. From episode one, we saw a cowboy hat. We saw a bunch of girls, or at least they're, they're models that you see like in a store. Then we see a lot of clues and references for being hung over. We hear him talk about this not being his first rodeo. We see a school bus, a puffer fish, and a blue collar. Then after his performance, he mentioned to the judges that the reason why he picked the banana was because of his daughter. She gave him a banana, so he figured there'd be something good for him to go ahead and be. Now, the next clues were from episode two. Uh, before the clue package, just before he was about to go on, we saw the men in black injecting the banana with needles. I mean, they were injecting themselves and the banana, so that's one clue there. Then in the clue package, we saw, and I'm going to say this wrong because it's actually really funny, it's bananagement management. Well, I actually said it right. I didn't think I was gonna say it right, but try saying that three times fast because I can't. Um, then we saw a little like silver bunny on the desk. We saw a clock with a lot of different numbers on it. I mean, everything from 213, 68, and 915. So a lot of different numbers there that could be, I mean, anything, we'll, we'll go over it in a minute. Then we saw one of the men in black wearing country shoes. We then turned the computer around and we see a snake or a venomous snake. We see the acai bowl, and then another clue package where it says banana is the new snack. Then behind him on the wall, we saw a couple of clues. I really don't know if they stand out too much, but we saw the sons of Benarchy, Banan Bananarchy. That's one I can't probably say right. Um, then we see banana chips playing off of the TV show chips. But pretty much they're talking about reality shows and television shows for the banana. Then he talked about himself saying that he'll be rocking out as his authentic so, now those are all the clues that we had for episode four and five on the banana. I do want to go ahead and play the audio for you guys. Now, normally we do the audio from the clue packages, but about a week and a half ago, one of you guys on Instagram sent me a message and said, um, why don't you use the audio of them talking to the panelist? And that made a lot of sense to me because in order for them to talk with the panelists, they have to do it live when everyone's there, the audience is there. So they have to go ahead and process the voice in a split of a second. So I figured that'd be an easier one to do. And let me tell you, the audio is pretty spot on. So here's the original audio of him talking on stage. Well, for me, no doubt was art. Now here's the pitch correct audio. Listen to it, it's pretty crystal clear. Well, for me, no doubt was art. It has gotten me through some of the toughest times of my life, and I've had quite a few. And uh, um, tonight, even though I forgot half the lyrics, I was having the time of my life, forgetting about the troubles, having a good time. 
Yeah, does that voice sound familiar to you? Because it does to me. It sounds like Brett Michaels. It really does. Now, here's an interview clip of just him talking, just so that you can compare the voices. The girls on every season of that made that show awesome. So audio-wise, yes, we have it down. That is definitely Brett Michaels, but let's go through the clues. The first clue we see from episode one is a cowboy hat. He doesn't go anywhere without that cowboy hat. Then we see the reference to a bunch of girls and partying and being hungover, which is a great throwback to Rock of Love, where that's pretty much what that whole show is about. When it comes to him talking about it not being his first rodeo, back on Rock of Love, there was a girl, what was her name? Was it Cindy Rodeo, like Steadle, Steady or something like that? I believe that's referencing back to her. It might be a little stretch, but I mean, that's the only rodeo thing I could kind of see that being connected to him. Then we see a school bus, which Rock of Love had different versions. I know there was like Rock of Love bus or Rock of like My RV or I, something on the lines of that. But I feel like that's a reference to being a rocker on a bus. So you got that going on for you. We see a puffer fish. And now that's a big clue because puffer fishes are, I think, was it like 1200 times deadly to humans? Which is poison, which poison is the name of whose band? Brett Michaels. Then after that, we see a blue collar. For those who don't know, he started his own pet line called To Rock Your Pet World. It has over 50 products and you can buy them at PetSmart. Not plugging him, but. Then talking about him being the banana, you know, banana from his daughter. Well, bananas are very healthy for those who have type one diabetes. Now for the clues on episode two. The first clue that we see from episode two was the banana being injected. Now that was before the clue package. Uh, well, if you have type 1 diabetes, you have to get five injections every single day. The next one was the bananagement, and really that wasn't a clue. I just think that was funny that they kind of put over there. Next, we saw the bunny on the desk. This is actually kind of clever, because this is, this is something I didn't know about Brett Michaels. Did you know that he's known as the Energizer Bunny of rock music? Yeah, I, I honestly didn't know that. That was something new for me. Google that. It's, it's weird. They just said he's got a lot of energy. I mean, I believe that. Next, we saw that the clock with all those different times, 2.13, 6, 8, and 9.15. It's kind of complicated, but let me explain those numbers to you. And if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry, because I'm reading it, because I don't want to screw this up. The clock, you see 6, 8, which is the National Name Your Poison Day. 2.13, the second and the 13th the letter of the alphabet is BM, which is for Brett Michaels. Then when it comes to 9.15, Every September, Brett sends 15 kids to diabetic summer camp. A lot of numbers, they mean, they mean a lot of different things, but uh, that's pretty much what we got out of there. Maybe that last one might be a little stretched, but it seems that they fit together. Next were his country boots, and just like with his country hat, he doesn't go anywhere without them. Then we flip the computer around, we see the snake, which is a poisonous snake, which is poison, which who is the lead singer? Brett Michaels. Then we see the bowl and the banana, which if you're a diabetic, those two things really do help you out. Eating those really help put you straight when it comes to your sugar. The last clue is him rocking out to his authentic self and he's a rock star. So those are all the clues and pitch correct audio. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's Brett Michaels? Do you think it's someone else? Let me know in the comment section and I do want to go ahead and say that we have a really big contest going on right now. I'll talk about it right after we get through all the rest of the Pitch Correct audio. I'm going to play all the Pitch Correct audio we have for the remaining contestants. Here you go. Well, my favorite subject was actually PE. That's gym for those that don't know. <laughs> That's what I mean. The real thing I love about it was the fact that it keeps me in shape. So I can bust these dance moves and make the ladies go crazy. You know what I'm talking about? My favorite subject was... English. I am such a bookworm and I used to write my own science fiction books and sell them for quarters. Being here feels like such an opportunity to break out of my shell. People have always expected me to act a certain way. That really tests me. Well, I want to rebel from all that. You can punish me all you like for being myself. But if I want to sing a love song, I'm going to sing a love song. I'm so humbled to be here in the Group H Championships. I wasn't sure I'd make it this far, but now, after hearing all the panelists' love, I feel empowered to fight my way into the Super 9, especially with all the support from my family. This is how I dress normally. 
You know, the weirdest thing about this experience, it's being ignored by everyone because they don't know who I am. For the first time, I feel invisible. Look who's still here. Shocked? Me too. I knew going into this competition, I was never going to be the best singer. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. I've always known how to work a crowd, and that's been my strategy here all along. But don't take my word for it. Here's a good friend who can back that up. So comment below who you think they are. Now it's time for contest information. I want my own golden mask. So about, uh, let's say about two weeks ago, I started this contest where if you can draw or make me a golden mask, you know, the trophy, you can send me the pictures on Instagram at Joey Contino. It's gonna come up down here. And the winner will win some of her pins that we designed for this channel. This is what they look like. I haven't gotten them in yet. They should be in next week. Now, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. Not many people do, only about 35% of you guys. So if you made it to the end, I'd like to reward you guys with a question to answer in the comment section. Next week, I'm going to Disney and I already asked you what's your favorite ride. My question is, what's your favorite Disney character? Comment that in the comment section. I'm Joey. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, you made it. You made it past that too? Well, that means you're a true subscriber. And um, next next Thursday, i got a video for you. For my subscribers, majority of everyone who watches these videos are here because they Googled something and it came up uh, as a, like, a recommendation. But for my real subscribers, those who make it to the end of the video, those that watch every single video and put notifications on, I have a special video for you coming out next Thursday. I hope you enjoy it. It's, um, if I had more time, it would be a lot better, but I only had about a day to work on it, and um, I'm just excited for you guys to see it. But anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.